Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'll be showing you the proper way to install the front wheel on a dirt bike. Hey guys, all right. So today I'm gonna show you how to properly install the front wheel on a dirt bike. Now, you're probably wondering why is he making a video on how to install the front wheel? Well, a lot of times people can get this incredibly wrong. Um, getting your front wheel aligned in the forks is incredibly crucial to the performance of your motorcycle. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks on how to get this installed correctly. First off, there's gonna be a few tools that we need. Here we have our Tusk brand axle tool, 22 millimeter socket with driver, 10 millimeter socket with driver, and of course our torque wrench. First thing we want to do is make sure that the axle holders are nice and clean. As you can see, ours are nice and clean already. Sometimes when you remove your axle, you end up uh, getting a lot of built up dirt and grime that we don't want in there. So before you install your axle, make sure to get those nice and clean. Also, we've gone ahead and cleaned this axle and applied a thin film of grease. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and install our wheel spacers. So before we do that, we wanna take a look at the wheel hub area. Uh, a lot of times we can get a lot of dirt and buildup from riding out in the mud. Uh, so we'll take a look at the uh, wheel bearing seals. You would like, we should take a rag, uh, wipe down the inside of it. Once we have it all nice and clean, we're gonna wanna take some grease and go ahead and lube it up. So we've already gone ahead and cleaned ours, lubed it up. So now we can take our wheel spacers. We'll go ahead and place these inside like so. We've got our left side in and now our right side. Always make sure to refer to your service manual on the proper orientation. All right, before we install our front wheel, we wanna make sure that we give our axle a good inspection. Oftentimes when people install their front wheels, they will use a ball peen hammer or just any hammer of sorts and they'll actually strike the end of this. Well, in doing so, it mushrooms this out. So when it comes time to slide your axle in and through, your axle doesn't actually fully seat where it needs to be. And so that oftentimes can contribute to having a misalignment in your front end. So what I like to do is check to make sure that my axle can slide through the holder. Another way to check it real quick before you get your wheel up there and installed is just to make sure that you can fit this all the way through the holder. If you're not able to fit it through the holder, go ahead and take a file to this edge and just kind of give it a nice smoothing over. So now we're ready to go ahead and install the front wheel. Now, when getting the front wheel installed, it's always good to keep an eye on your brake rotor and your brake pads. We'll slide that up into place. I like to take and place my leg underneath the front wheel so it helps me keep it into position when it comes time to slide in the axle. Now we'll take and slide our axle through. For this bike, the axle's orientation is gonna come from the rider's right side into the left. So always be sure to refer to your service manual for proper orientation of the axle. So now we can go ahead and install our axle nut. So for this particular bike, it has a, a pretty specific procedure. So what we need to do is torque our axle nut to spec, and then we're gonna torque our pinch bolts. Uh, once we have done that, we need to remove it from the lift, place it on a flat level surface, grab the front brake, and then we're gonna go ahead and just kinda compress and let the suspension rebound several times. And what this is gonna do is this will allow for the rider's right side lower fork tube to kinda orient and settle itself onto the axle. So we'll go ahead and do that. Today we'll be using our Tusk hex axle tool. Now if you don't have this tool, the other way to get your um, axle nut torque to spec is you'll slide your, your axle through, tighten the right side pinch bolts, torque your axle nut, tighten the left side pinch bolts, and then you'll need to loosen the right side pinch bolts. And then we can move on with the rest of the process. First, we're gonna get our axle nut torqued to spec, and then we can move on to our pinch bolts. Okay, now when it comes to the pinch bolts, I like to tighten them incrementally. So I'll do a little bit on the right side, do a little bit on the left side, and then I'll, later I'll grab my torque wrench and go ahead and set these to torque. So now we can go ahead and pull it off of the stand and let's get to compressing the front end to get the front axle settled. All right, now that we've got our bike off of the stand, we can go ahead and begin to compress the front end. So remember to grab the front brake and give it a good compress. Do this a couple times. Uh, in doing so, again, this is gonna help us seat the axle inside of the axle holders. 
All right, now we're gonna move on to the right side of the bike here. Uh, we're gonna make sure to get these uh, pinch bolts secured. Earlier, we started from our rider's left side and we're working our way over to our rider's right side. So we'll start with the inside bolt here. Work our way to the outside. And that's it guys, pretty straightforward, easy and simple. That's how you install the front wheel on your motorcycle. Uh, always be sure to refer to your service manual for the proper steps and methods and also torque specs are very important too. So, all right guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-tos and other projects. Uh, thanks again for watching. Keep turning those wrenches, guys.